Have you ever wondered why you feel a special connection with certain people? Well, like we've said in our first video, who you're attracted to can reveal a lot about your personality. And if you click this video, then you're probably interested in learning more about some specific types of attractions that can shed light on our personalities and shape our choices in relationships. So without further ado, let's continue our exploration into the fascinating world of attraction and personality. Here's what the type of people you're attracted to says about you. Part 2. If you like to date people who are younger than you, then you might be a fun-loving and energetic person. Being attracted to younger individuals could signify that you enjoy a playful, lively approach to life and that you appreciate the enthusiasm and curiosity that comes with youth. You find joy in embracing new experiences and discovering the world with the same wonder as your younger partners. And exploring these connections allows you to stay youthful yourself. As you recognize the invigorating energy that a younger perspective can bring into your life with its spontaneity and zest. If you're drawn to people who are older than you. On the other hand, if you tend to date people who are older than you, then you're probably wise beyond your years. This attraction means that you value stability, maturity, and wisdom that comes with age and experience. You appreciate the guidance and insights that an older partner can offer and desire the sense of security that comes with a partner who has navigated the complexities of life. If you're attracted to talented and creative people, like attracts like. If you're into talented and creative people, it probably means you like seeing skills and hard work pay off. You enjoy thinking about interesting concepts, staying open to new ideas, and maybe even finding inspiration in other people's accomplishments. You have heightened sensitivity to aesthetics, meaning you might have a thing for how things look or sound and feel deeply about what creative people express. It also suggests you're curious, like learning new things, and are pretty good at coming up with innovative solutions to problems. If you're attracted to lone wolves, being drawn to lone wolves might mean that you're often drawn to the unknown. You're a curious person and there is a part of you who is fascinated by their independence and resilience. If you're attracted to them, there's a part of you who values personal freedom or has a caring, nurturing side, wanting to help or understand these independent souls. It could also be because you enjoy the challenge of connecting with these complex individuals, getting them to open up to you and understanding their way of thinking. It's like trying to understand a puzzle or unravel a mystery and for some, that complexity is an exciting part of the attraction. If you're attracted to free spirits, do you find yourself captivated by free spirits, those adventurous souls who go with the flow? If so, you might share a love for exploration and spontaneity. Attracted to those who live life on the edge, you likely appreciate a carefree and open-minded approach to the world. And these connections may uncover your own untapped adventurous spirit, as well as your desires for freedom, creativity, and non-conformity. If you like to date social butterflies, then you probably have a strong need for connection, community and belonging. You're drawn to those who effortlessly make friends because it mirrors your own yearning to be part of a lively community where you can share laughter, engage in meaningful conversations and feel the warmth of a tightly knit social circle. You appreciate the ability of such people to navigate social situations with ease making gatherings more enjoyable and memorable, and prefer to date outgoing and social types because they allow you to meet many new, interesting people and enjoy a more vibrant and lively social life. If you like the strong and silent types, on the other hand, if you find yourself attracted to the strong silent types, then you most likely appreciate a calm and steady presence. You're drawn to this personality because you value reliability, inner strength, and quiet confidence. People like this may not say much, but their actions speak volumes, demonstrating a steadfast commitment, dependability, and resilience that you hold in high regard. You might also be fascinated by people who have a sense of mystery and stoicism around them and find solace in their composed demeanor. 
If you're more drawn to nurturers, some people find themselves attracted to those with a nurturing personality. If you're one of them, you probably value kindness, empathy, and a supportive nature. Those attracted to nurturers often seek emotional connection and comfort in their relationships. You most likely want to build relationships based on mutual care and have a deep-seated need for compassion and understanding from those around you. If you're attracted to the life of the party, then it means you have a penchant for excitement, spontaneity, and a love for celebration. You're most likely someone who loves to laugh and have a good time. And this attraction reflects a desire to infuse joy and enthusiasm into your own life, as well as a preference for partners who can light up a room with their infectious energy. To sum it all up, the people we're drawn to say a lot about our personalities and what we value in relationships. Each attraction reveals a unique aspect of who you are and what you seek in a connection with others. So Psych2Goers, as you reflect on your own attractions, ask yourself, what do they say about you? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you had fun unlocking more mysteries of attraction with us, click here to watch our videos on 8 things that make you attractive or 6 shocking flirting secrets revealed by research. Don't forget to hit like, comment and subscribe before you go. Thanks for watching.